Highly Selassie the first king over all the earth Highly Selassie the first king over all the earth Highly Selassie the first king over all the earth Highly Selassie the first king over all the earth Turn to 1 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 without controversy Great is the mystery God was manifest in the flesh with his words and his son unto us The promised Messiah Prime us the same Jesus The precious blood of Christ is of a lamb without blemish without spot Greetings in the name of his imperial majesty and Prahiliyai Selassie I Today I would like to speak about the difference between a sin and a crime. And this video picks up from where I left off on part one. In part one I was breaking down the Ten Commandments and I was speaking about how all of the Ten Commandments are revolving around two immutable things, which is God and His prophet. And we must honor both God and His messenger. And if we do that, then we fulfill the entire law. And this is actually written all throughout the scriptures in different parables. So we can look at Ephesians. In Ephesians chapter 6, verses 1 to 3, it says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord. Obey your parents in the Lord. So it's not talking about your physical mother and father. It's talking about your master in the Lord. In the, in the gospel, which is Christ. It says, for this is right. Honor your father and your mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee and that you may live long on the earth. So this eternal life is through Christ. That if we honor him, his gospel, and believe in God, which is highly Selassie, if we do that, then we're going to be granted eternal life, which is the faith, because the faith is eternal because the faith is God. We can look at this again in Galatians chapter 5 verse 14 where it says, For all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this, that you love your neighbor as yourself. So we know that God is love. So if we believe in God, then we're going to fulfill the law. And we know that your neighbor is Christ and his gospel is going to direct us to God. Now, there are many different interpretations of the Bible, and people give many different messages that create many different traditions. And people will follow the same Bible, but there's different religions and traditions that all stem from the Bible, and that has to do with interpretation. Now, the Bible actually is speaking about that about all of these different interpretations. And we can read Romans, Romans chapter two, verses 19 through 26. It says, you are confident that you are a guide of the blind, a light to them that are in darkness, an instructor of the foolish. So those who follow the scriptures and are teaching and giving messages, they are confident that what they are teaching is the truth. That you are a teacher of babes, which has the form of knowledge and of the truth of the law. You therefore that teach another, do you not teach yourself? You that preach a man should not steal, do you steal? You that say do not commit adultery, do you commit adultery? So it's talking about these terms that people say that they uphold. So you who say you don't steal, do you are you really guilty of that? Do you who say don't commit adultery. Are you really guilty of that, right? Because now people interpret stealing to mean taking like fruit from the market stand that you didn't pay for. Obviously that's bad. But the Bible is actually referring to a spiritual meaning and definition of stealing. And that's why I said those who do not follow Christ are thieves and robbers. There's a, there's a different interpretation, a spiritual definition of what this means. So whereas a person may not steal an apple and may pay for an apple, 
if you do not follow Christ and if you reject Christ's message, then you actually are guilty of stealing and committing adultery and breaking and breaking the entire law. So now we have to we have to really look at what the scriptures is actually meaning. The real meaning of it is a spiritual definition. So you have to know who God is and you have to know who Christ is. And Haile Selassie the first is God and Primus St. Croix is Christ. And if you do not accept that, and if you do not accept the message and the gospel of Jesus Christ, Primus St. Croix, then you're guilty of breaking the law. So this is this is what it means. You who hate idols, do you do you commit idolatry? Right? So you who make your boast in the law, do you break the law? I mean, that's idolatry. So you who say that you're following the Bible and, and, and following the law, I mean, are you breaking the law? So at some point, at some point in our life, we was underneath this false interpretation of the scriptures. But Christ has come to give us the right interpretation. So this is what this is what the Bible this is what the Bible is, is is talking about. When you look at when you look at Galatians chapter three, it says, "For as many as all of the works of the law are under the curse, for it is written, Curses everyone that continues not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them, but that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God. It is evident." Now, which law is it talking about? Because again, you who say you, you're confident that you're a teacher of the law, but you who say do not steal, are you guilty of stealing? So what, what law is it, is it referring to when it says curses everyone that continues not in all things and, and, and of, of the law? It is talking about the law of man. That if that people are giving out these interpretations that of what adultery is, of what stealing is, of what idolatry is, and they're saying, you know, don't, don't, don't commit idolatry, but yet they believe in supernatural and and, and idolatrous uh, principles, and they are actually guilty of the same things that they preach against. So there's hypocrisy that a lot of people are, are living under. And this is what this is what the Bible is saying about this law. That there are actually there there are not to say two laws, but there's a law of man and there's a law of God. And they're different. Even though man will say, men will say, well, this is the law of God. That's what they're gonna say. But you're not, you can't just take what a person says. You have to examine it, you know, research it, educate yourself on it, verify it. You can't just say, well, okay, well, I'm just going to take your word for it. You have to study it yourself. And you have to, you have to know it for yourself to, to know if you, if you have the truth, the truth or not. Because... As it continues to say in, in Galatians, no man is justified by the law in the sight of God. It is evident. Now, a lot of people are going to in interpret Paul to mean that we're not going to follow the law at all. right? That we're just going to do away with Exodus uh, chapter 20 and we're no longer... And that also is the wrong interpretation. That, that the Bible is talking about, the law of man. So it goes on, it says that man that do, it says that the just shall live by faith, and the law is not of faith. But the man that, do, that does it shall live in them. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Which law? Christ has redeemed us from the law of man. So that's why it says, the law is not of faith. The faith 
The faith comes from Christ. And he has redeemed us from the law of man. Not, not from the God's law. Because Christ is, is in works in coordination with God. So Christ did not do away with God's law. The faith, as I spoke about in the first part of this video, the faith actually is the law. Exodus chapter 20 actually is talking about faith and belief in God through Christ. So what Christ brought was a better testimony, a better interpretation, the, 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 the correct interpretation of the scriptures. Whereas before, before Christ, we was under a curse. We was under the wrong interpretation of the law. Christ brings the correct interpretation of the law. So that's, that's actually what it is, what it is saying. It is not saying to do away with God's law and that just because we believe in Jesus Christ, we can do whatever we want to do. You know, that's, that's not what, it, what the Bible is saying at all. You know, His Majesty was a man of law and principles, and we also must be of law and principles if we say that we follow God. Right, so again, it says that the blessings of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we may receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. This again means to fulfill the law through Christ. And in Romans chapter 3, verse 31, it says, Do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid. We establish the law. So faith does not do away with the law. We establish the correct interpretation of the law and, and, and put everything within its correct context. So we must be obedient to the spiritual principles, which is to follow his majesty and follow his messenger. That means to follow Haile Selassie and to understand that Christ has come and Prime St. Croix is the Christ because his gospel gives us the correct understanding of the scriptures. As well as now we establish the law. Now that we know, now that we know God and, and, and the prophet, we establish the law. So now his majesty, through his government, has issued out all of these laws and, and proclamations through the penal code, through the civil code. We establish the law. We don't say that we're free to do anything that we want to do and commit all kinds of crimes and 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 speak and and live all kinds of uh, uh, disgusting and dirty life. Nah, that's that's that that is not godliness. That is idolatry. Okay, so we must be principled, and we must follow His Majesty in spirit and in truth. And this is all about laws and principles. So let us be obedient. Let us be obedient to his majesty and understand that the scriptures is asking us to do away with false interpretations. That's what it means that we're not under the law and meaning we're not under man's law. We must do away with false interpretations and establish the true faith, the true law which is through Christ. Blessed be Jah, Rastafari, and Prahiliyai, Selassie the first.